The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this Thursday, the 10th of March. Uh, we're looking at, the, for in the Tiger Technicians Hour, we're looking at the Dow down 173 at 33,117. The S&P is down, uh, let's see, 33 at 4244. The QQQ is down five and a quarter at 329.72. IWM Russell 2000, that's the small caps, down 187 and 198.39. Uh, you're looking at gold. The reason why I'm going, all, going through these right now, uh, gold is up. It's up 13. Eh, that's good. It's holding really well above the nine period moving average. But on a purely technical basis, we had said about a day or two ago that that leg up, that, that spike to the 2078-ish area, um, there should be some kind, just technically there should be some consolidation. That's got nothing to do with whether or not um, there's a, the icon of gold being a, an, a fear, a visual fear factor. Um, Geopolitically, that is, what what um, what's keeping it up? Well, of course, the tensions around the world, and we're looking at uh, silver. Silver right now is trading up, up 46 cents at 26.28. Also pulled back quite sharply from the uh, 27. I think it was 27.50 something. 27. Yeah, 20. 27.49.5. Yeah, almost there. So 27.49 uh, off, but it's holding the nine period moving average. You're looking at high grade copper. Um, um, on the, on the, between the 14 and the nine period experiential moving average, it's still green, uh, but it has pulled back quite sharply from the 5.02 ish level. And uh, we're at 4.64, up uh, 0.07. We're looking at crude oil. Crude oil is. Up a dollar eighty-eight at one hundred and ten point fifty-six. It too just all all of these. I, Larry Pesavento, um, his throat was scratchy yesterday and today. I think he's got um, he's got a, a, a bad throat. So I I I just reconfigured all my my whatever I was going to be doing uh, after my show, and I I will be doing his show. And I think what I'd like to do I'd like to do it for myself. In fact. I want to go through all the different commodities based on the Chapman Wave for the daily, weekly, monthly charts. So we'll get to that. Um, and I'll, I'll just tell you that in the crude oil, just on a purely technical basis, 102 to 98 should be key support. If it starts to pull back, something else is going on uh, in the um, Russia-Ukraine situation. But meantime, just on a technical basis, there should be some digestive phase. We're looking at uh, this is I want the reason why I wanted to run through all these different um, the preamble to my show itself. I usually like to go through all the different indices and key uh, metrics that we're looking at in the different uh, ETFs, etc. This is the most important for me. When I, when uh, um, Tommy O'Brien uh, and folks, if you want to really listen to a show that puts together fabulously the, the fundamentals and the technicals, uh, Tommy O'Brien's market kickoff at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, fabulous show. Uh, it was having some technical trouble yesterday, and I'd already done quite a bit of work, so I was able just to jump in. I had the pleasure of interviewing uh, Teddy Kegstad, which t Tommy usually does. And in that, I was saying to Teddy, uh, and we had made a fantastic call over a year ago to say um, crude oil was going to 100, and just about a month ago he said, I think it's going even higher. Obviously, beautifully correct there. What I had said was, if I was looking at the monthly chart of bonds, we had moved over to bonds, the arch formation in the pattern that I call the dreaded H, and that's why I wanted to uh, spend a little time uh, on Larry's show talking about some of these things that have occurred, which are really important market-wise. So the pattern we're looking at is 
come straight line down, then you make an arc formation at either a peak A or a B, the first or second peak, you turn around and you start the rollover. If you take out the low on the left side, that can that can evolve into a very serious decline if it doesn't hold well. The Dow held the other day, the QQQ held by fractionally touching uh, the left side low. The S&P didn't get to the low. That's the reason why I thought there was a chance now that we could have a lowercase h that goes to a lowercase m formation in the daily charts. But look at this. <clears throat> you see that move? Look, there's your first dreaded h in the bonds. I better check because this, this is a continuous contract. It gets smoothed out. So the high of, the, of March of 2020 was 179.70. Oh, let's say the same. So that is the exact number. It comes down to about 155, was it? 153 in June. Pops up for two bars. That's two months. Peak A, A minus because it fails and goes for the dreaded H, takes out the left side low, and then has almost a, a greater than a one to one to the downside. Goes to 133.19. Rallies up to the most recent high of 155.12. And then what does it do? It turns over. And I'd say to Teddy, I, are we looking at, what were we looking at? Oh, the, was it the Euro, EUR, USD? Yes. Are we looking at the same sort of thing? That if Euro rolls over and starts to take out key support, maybe 1.08, it could go quickly to test the left side low of March of 2020 of 1.063. This is a euro dollar currency pair. So I said, the way I'm looking at it, it looks to me like, and we were up at about 137 or something. So it looks to me like um, the bonds could, in fact, roll over and take out that left side low of 133.19. Well, Today's low is 134.06. Oh, I put in PC. We can't do that. Uh, Trough C. Can't do that just yet. So let me get rid of that. Let me get rid of that. And that's where we, it looks like we're headed there. Look. Look at the look at the pace in the monthly chart of that rollover on the right side. This is the quadrant. And this quadrant of the ellipse or the arch formation is accelerating. And it was the thing I was fearing most on, what did we, Thursday? On Tuesday, that instead of holding, when I was being interviewed by Tom at about 3.20, I said, I'm watching this right side um, low, because if it stops here, that's really important. You could have a pretty decent rally. But if it keeps going, <clears throat> we will attack the Dow's, what was it, 32.272 left side low. Well, this is the same pattern. And we're already at 134.21. We are just a fraction over a point away from the left side low. And that is just saying to us that bonds, if you go to the TNX, this is the 10 year yield. Look at this. <clears throat> look at that move up. It's at 20.02, 2.002. The last high was 2.5 something. 2.5, we've got to put it in. Uh, 2.06. Huh, this is quite something, isn't it? And the monthly chart looks like it's turning up to be able to go to a higher high. I'll be back. That's the chap and Dallas down 186. We'll be right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks, Basil Chaplin. This is the Tiger Munitions Hour. I had a question when I look at the, uh, I'm, I'm going to see if I can do this now, the two-minute chart of uh, Chevron, A, B, C in the Chapman wave. Where are we? The question was peak E. I've got, yeah, peak E, and now we're pulling back. On the two-minute chart, you had a, oh, now you just missed the Chapman wave instant restart. It doesn't matter. It was the same thing because there's a down arrow and then an up arrow. Now, I, this, I don't see the one penny moves as easily, yeah, as if it's a quarter of a point like the S&P E-mini. Um, but anyway, peak E and it's pulled back from the height that was made of 173.87. Um, if the nine period moving average across is negative uh, 170.10 to 169.30 would be the next key support level. Okay, but what I really wanted to show you is using the Chapman Wave methodology. Here we go. Um, this is, let me just, I've got it all notated. I, I, I can't really trade at the same time unfortunately but i'll be doing this i usually try but today was just too many things going on so i wanted to show you patterns and the patterns i'm talking about in the um, in the monthly charts there's no difference here in the daily uh, it's, there's no difference to the one minute chart look let me show you this you see this e-mini it, it could be anything it just happens to be the e-mini we, we go to a trough at about 8 10 this morning around about 4.22, let's say. And then it starts to move up as the MACD goes up and the stochastic goes up. And what do we get? We get peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D, and the Chapman Wave methodology. I'll just show you this because we always have new new, uh, new people coming in. In the Chapman Wave methodology, we try to identify the lowest low, and then we count each successively peak. We alphabetize them. Basically, I'm grading each peak. So what happens is, it starts off as a buy signal after the low is made, if certain conditions are met. <clears throat> and that buy signal, you want to see upgraded to a buy mode, and that implies that it should go to at least a D. It could go E, F, and G, or it could recycle. You have Chapman Wave instant restart, Chapman Wave flat base restart, a whole bunch of things. doesn't matter. The objective is to get you a D, and then we reassess. <clears throat> so... And it's as simple as that. There's nothing more complex than that, except your obligation is to count each successively higher peak and trough. So within this context, look how many A's we had. We had A, 
parallel high, uh, parallel high, then a lower high, then a parallel high. So we had four A's that didn't take out the left side low. And then we went to B, C, and D. Pulls back, goes to E. And I drawn in a smaller rectangle. I made this bigger as I was <clears throat> doing more work on it this morning. And then I got the big uh, rectangle from the large rectangle can have a whole series of higher highs and higher lows as it starts a stair step move going back to the previous high. And that was the rule of thumb there. So the previous high was at 835 this morning, 42, 47.00, round number high, pulls back sharply to that 42, 20-ish area. And then what does it do? It breaks above the rectangle and goes to this doji candle. I could have called it an F, but it broke out so nicely and the 9 was still over the 14. I decided I'd call it a B. And then I was busy, busy, busy because of my, my, doing the show and all that. And look what happened here. We had an inside peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D. Very quick. One bar rest, new high. One bar rest, new high. And underneath the previous high. And then what does it do? It goes all the way to the 42, uh, 55, or was it 56? 4256.25 level at 1020. Now it's pulling back, but still walking the 9 and 14 period exponential moving averages at this particular time. So one of the things I said to subscribers, why we went along certain positions yesterday, um, and one of them I said, this is for everybody. One was for traders. One was just because we had no idea. We still have no idea where it's going to go to on the upside was because the risk reward said that if certain conditions were met right now under these horrendous conditions internationally, and I'm talking about, now I'm talking about humanitarian, usually I'm talking about just, we try to talk about it market-wise, but here I'm talking about humanitarian, and I just want to add, I had spoken about this a while back, I said, why a couple of days ago, why on earth aren't we sending hundreds and hundreds of thousands of drones. Why can't we send drones? Why can't the drones go over those tanks that are all that equipment, 40 mile long equipment? Just bam, 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 finishing them off. I mean, you don't even need anything. You don't need fighter planes anymore because of the cleverness and the brilliance of, of, of the way people are able to use um, drones. All right, I've got that out the way. Um, and not only that, I need to also add, Television changes everything. And if you can see war up close, it creates a guilt that these people are going under under such duress. And here we are, we're just sitting and watching it, eating something at the same time. I mean, wow. All I can say is every administration around the world at this particular point has to be saying, we've got to do something so at least it looks good. I mean, if nothing else, but on the humanitarian side, how can we do nothing? It's just pathetic. Anyway, get that out of the way. Um, so what we're looking at here is that the TNX has rallied. This is the 10-year yield, and a lot of uh, the, the loans are, are based on the 10-year yield. Uh, it hasn't broken to the upside yet, and bonds are close to breaking to the downside. So that just says to me that no matter what the Fed says, they have no choice. Because normally under these conditions, money would just flood into the safety of bonds as, as, as stocks go down. We're not seeing that at all. We're seeing, in fact, money go out of bonds, go out of stocks, and start going more into commodities, etc., but even there, the commodities right now, I'd probably say gold is one of the, as a fear factor icon, that's probably one of the better places at this particular stage. But in the meantime, back at the ranch, this is something very important because that monthly chart is only getting stronger. Look, the stochastics are finally here at 83% in the monthly chart. The MACD is rising. The histogram is flattening out. It's not, it's not sliding. It's not great, gaining yet. This is a month early in the month, not even halfway through the month. But the history and the vertical lines, the 0% line at 1.05, it's, it's really very strong. 
And if you're looking at the 9 over the 14 period moving average with the price moving up, you cannot ignore. And that's the reason why I'm saying that the Fed is really caught. But every don't we always say this? We used to joke about it because it was Iraq, I-R-A-Q. We used to say the Fed's caught between Iraq and a hard place. Now what we're looking at decades later, what we're looking at is um, the Fed is really stuck between conditions of inflation that are just staring them in the face. I mean, anybody who's been to a supermarket lately, anybody who's filled up with gas, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know why we haven't opened the spigots. I mean, just oh, just say you're going to open the spigots at least, but do something. All right, enough with that. We're going to go back to the markets. And now I want you to talk about, um, just briefly, we've got Kuro, where is it now? Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TD and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charted software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, everyone. We're back and we're going to go straight to Brent. Uh, Brent, I'm sorry I didn't see that you had called. I hope you haven't been waiting too long. How are you? I'm doing great, Basil. Not a problem. I was just listening to your analysis, which I always uh, enjoy listening to. So yesterday we we're looking at T H O R as T H O is a symbol. It's Ford Industries uh, R V recreational vehicles, and uh, Brent had a position in that. And we were looking at, it and I mentioned that there were certain levels that I was looking because it, it this is one that is consistently under all conditions 
failed to hold rallies. It's made lower lows and lower highs in every time frame. <clears throat> and if ever the left side low that held uh, the, the arch formation that this time, that was three days ago, had held the left side low, this was the moment that it needed actually intraday. I said to him, speed is really important here. It needs to move very quickly to the upside. And it's in the area that so far from my perspective, what I've been looking at was the whole recreational side of the comeback kid for outdoor uh, activities and uh, recreation. Uh, this was right in the sweet spot of that category, and it should be doing very well. Um, and today it's down 237 and 84.90. So, and, and it didn't do well yesterday. From the moment we spoke, it just kind of stalled, and then it closed towards the low of the day. So what is your position now? Oh, I just wanted to let you know, I don't know that I necessarily... Um, made it clear exactly what I do with these. I, I was actually <clears throat> out yesterday, probably not too long after we talked. So I, I looked at the timestamps. I got in, it has it on Eastern time. So I got in at 9.57, 6.57 my time, and was out at 10.57, 7.57 my time. So exactly an hour. And I got in at 2.50 on the calls. There were the 90 calls for, uh, you know, the monthly ones, the March 18th calls. And then I, uh, I sold them at 425. So it was, a when I looked at it, it was like a 70% gain for, you know, about an hour. And so I, so just, you, yeah, I, I don't hang around in these things when I get what I want. I've been watching it pre-market and it had gotten up to that level around 91. And so when I bought in, it was about 87 and change and, I got out at 91 and changed. So that's all I wanted it to do. Got out, and then I just now I kind of move on to other things. Oh, Goose, I, I was watching you today, and I was hoping, because I know that you you have a plan, but you always have a backup plan uh, to say, if such and such does happen, this is what I want to do, even, even if the time is quicker than I was expecting, or if it starts to fail this is what i want to do so i was hoping that you had at least uh, you know got got rid of some of the position but that's congratulations you did very nicely so what i would say to you is i would keep it on my list but i don't think under the circumstances that i'm looking at right now it just doesn't seem to want to participate because it would give you clues that it's suddenly in the sweet spot of what fund managers are looking at and what would happen is Every pullback would be met with buying it would slowly creep to the upside. And if there was another sell off, it would be higher than the previous one. And then it would go a little higher. So I haven't seen anything like that with this, at least uh, since we spoke yesterday. But keep it on the list because um, within the context of spring coming, now, of course, this is probably to do with, you know, I'm not even sure with a lot of, most of their sales are winter or summer. I'm suspecting that it's probably spring, summer is where they do better, or that's where they use the most. But that would be a, a, not just a clue um, to Thor Industries and recreational vehicles. It would probably be a clue to what's going on outdoors. And remember, the only other thing I'd say is, I'm not sure if these are the people that would be affected by higher um, gasoline prices because it's a fun thing to do and you just account for it or you just you go there for a shorter period of time or whatever it is. But this is saying that everything is, is working against it at the moment. But I'm going to do once again, I did that yesterday, I'll do it again. Six, uh, which is uh, Six Flags Entertainment, is down 17 cents at 39.40. I probably would say to you, it's in the lower range of the rectangle formation <clears throat> from here, from the 36 level is where it should bounce. And it did bounce yesterday and it's bouncing off the low today, but it's still down. I'd probably put the two together. Maybe I shouldn't, but kind of in my thinking here, I put the two together. And if Six Flags Entertainment starts to trade, it's at 39 right now, 39.40, at any time in the next two weeks, I've given it a little bit of time, starts to trade in the 4280 to 43, now actually I'd say 
4310 to 4380 area, that would be a sign to say, hey, maybe things are, maybe the activity outdoors is, is being um, represented by this. And I'd probably say that I'd, I'd put the two together and see if Thor can finally break the pattern of lower highs and lower lows and instead make a higher high. Because even if it goes above yesterday's high, that'll be the start of saying, whoops, this is a nice turnaround because it's starting to make lo uh, higher lows and higher highs. But that's kind of the way I think about it. But thanks for bringing it to our attention. And congratulations that you did the trade very well. But I, I, that monthly chart says, wow. And the weekly and the monthly charts are saying, it needs a lot more. In fact, it needs three weeks of holding above, it's at 84. I would say three weeks of holding above 97 to 100, testing 100 to say, ah, finally, it's changing the course of its weekly chart from lower lows uh, and lower highs to at least higher lows and maybe higher highs. I hope that helps you. It does, yeah. I think the key for me, Basil, is just being as nimble as possible. And I was just looking while I was listening to you and I was on hold. I did a trade. It was a little it was a, on the GLD and I bought it at like 10.09 and I sold it at 10.20. So whatever that's like, you know, about 12 minutes. And it went from I bought them at 74 cents and sold it at about 10. So I just... These are the things I just do them kind of quick. I don't, you know, when I get what I want, I just sell it, make a little money, just move on to the next thing. So I think that's so, the key. You can't get too comfortable and stuff just sitting in there, you know, especially with options. You got to be fast. You got to be fast, but I have to congratulate you because that 200 period moving average in the one minute chart in the GLD was resistance, but it's holding above the, the it's got the green nine period exponential moving average. And I suspect that it's just about in leg. This is leg D. This is about to have a bit of a breather. So you got, hey, what nice timing. Congratulations. Ah, that's that's great to hear. Congratulations. All right, Very Bill. nice well, action. It's always a pleasure talking with you, and, and I really appreciate your time. Just have yourself a great day and a great rest of your week. I'll talk to you soon. And I must say, if I'm busy talking and you're busy trading, uh, maybe that's the inspiration <laughs> because you were playing something completely different to THO. <laughs> Congratulations. We'll speak to you soon. All right. Take, take care, Basil. Okay. Uh, folks, the Dow is now down 290, S&P is down 48. This is a real struggle. And what we're looking at, that peak E that we were talking about a little moment ago at about 1019, we went from 42.55 to 42.26. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hey folks, we're back. Dow's down 237. Uh, is it 237? No, 263. <clears throat> We're looking at Bank of America. So what I discussed with subscribers, because we've had Bank of America since uh, the 31s, back I think in July of uh, last year. Um, we, this is one of those, we used to have General Motors every, every year, we'd have General Motors for a little bit and then get out of it. Um, and then I switched to Bank of America. We've done that for years, we've had it. This was the longest period I actually waited to get in. We finally got into 31.18 in February. Uh, 2021, so it's over a year ago, um, and we've taken little bits off all the way up. It hit 50.08, but now we've taken a, a lot more. Uh, reason being <clears throat> that the financials have a couple of aspects here that one side is positive, the other side is negative. The positive is that yields, when yields go higher, it kind of favors some part of the bank's portfolio, and that usually helps. It's not 100% uh, accurate, but it, it, that's the way I like to do it. I always thought Bank of America is good because it's got the other aspect. It's got the uh, um, Merrill Lynch part of it, or the Merrill, they say, uh, which is the brokerage side of it. I think that's a positive looking out. But most importantly, 38.36 was the low of September the 20th. 2021 it ran up beautifully to a peak f top at 48.69 around about the 3rd of november it comes back down to a recycled trough d uh, that was about around about the 20th or 19th of uh, december and then it has a beautiful peak a peak b peak c peak d the fourth highest peak at 50.08 on the, on the 10th of January, comes tumbling down to 42.59 above the, the, the 200 period moving average, but below the left side low of around about the 19th of December. And within two days, it's back above it and it has a really good rally. And the rule of thumb is that when the arch formation goes below the left side low, it can, unless there's a full buy signal that goes to a buy mode, it's probably only going to go rally to a, a resistance level above or a gap or a doji candle. But this went all the way back in a V-shaped pattern. That's what we were looking at to test. And I've discussed this over and over again. So many charts have gone back to the previous highs, whether it was yearly or weekly or daily, and then reversed. And what did it do? 50.08 was Bank of America's high on the 10th of January. Eight points down, it goes to 42.59 within uh, two weeks. Rallies back up and goes to where? 50.11. What I like to do is to check. I go vertically like this. I take my, you can do, you don't need all these notes. You don't need, not, you don't need anything. You just need the vertical line. And you can do this printed on a piece of paper and draw it. And you say, what were all the technicals doing on the 10th of January that's either positive or negative to the high that was made on the around about the 8th or so of, of February? Well, this MACD did rally.
but it was lower than it was back on the 10th of January. It, the stochastic ran up above 80% and almost immediately, in fact, on that day, it was already about to cross negative. It was a red candle. The on-balance volume wasn't anywhere close as high as it was back at the high of January the 10th. And that was a signal to say, be careful. One of the reasons why we took a little bit off, took a little bit off, off the other day. And now what we're looking at is the beautiful arch. This is the lowercase h that goes to lowercase m successfully. In fact, the double m. And then fails and takes out all the left side lows of importance all the way down the 42 area. And what does it do? Three days ago, it goes to 38.21. 38.21 is just below the 38.36. It's the exact reverse of what happened on the upside. The only difference now is that the weight of the move down and the speed and the momentum to go to this trough D, went to a peak D on the upside, trough D on the downside, is saying that unless, and now you need speed, the same speed on the upside and the downside, you need to continue that speed because if it stalls, instead of having a pretty decent bounce, it stalled twice now at the 41.44, 41.41, um, nine period experience, pink, nine, negative nine period moving average, and the 14 is at 42.36. By Tuesday, I'm going to give it a full half day today, Friday, Monday, and during my show Tuesday. So it's like three sessions, let's say. It needs very, four, four, let's call, call today a session, four sessions. It needs to get and touch 4230s. It doesn't even have to break above. It just has to touch it to say, no, 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 you got me wrong. I do have some internal strength. But if you put it in the context of momentum, look at this move to the right side that and I had a chap wave inside wedge target resistance line that it went below in a shorter period of time and now it's gone above and that's just saying be careful because if Bank of America and this I think is one of the better banks I mean this is just real quickly if you want to compare it to JP Morgan look JP Morgan I, it's just making absolutely considerable. We went to a peak D in the last rally, and it's plunged. It's down to 132 level. It hit 126, I think, or seven, just three days ago. That is a horrible. Look at the on the right. You can see just right here. So the XLF. The question was XLF. How, how's it doing? And my answer is, I think that the financials are having a problem here for a number of reasons. And we might just find that, in fact, it's, it's Russia-related. Uh, uh, Goldman Sachs said they're getting out. Is that what they said? Um, this is a very negative chart formation, trying to form some kind of a base just below the left side low of um, 300, let's call it about 320. It's trading right now at 328, having gone to the 318 level just the other day. This is not good. So I'm saying... This is part of the whole portfolio of things that I'm looking at. And when I get, uh, when I, I am, I will have a chance, I believe, to do, yes, I will. I'll be able to do Larry's show because Larry's uh, voice um, is kind of conked in and he's not able to do his show. And I said, you know what? There are so many things I want to look at. I want to go through the grains. I want to go through uh, platinum, palladium. I want to go through, just based on the Chapman Wave methodology, daily, weekly, and monthly charts. I'll just show you here, wheat. There's this Chapman Wave Roman candle that I discussed. I said this particular, um, I was discussing it with um, Tom in the interview on Tuesday. And then I completely forgot I was about to do it. And I we moved to another thing that this candle isn't just a perfect Chapman Wave Roman candle. And then if we were trading for a shorter time period, halfway into the wick of, one, of 1238, there's a real good chance within two days we'll test and break the left side low. Well, we did that, and now wheat is down 90 at 1,110. So that's the pattern. I want to talk about all these things, and I'll do that during Larry's show. Meantime, we've got Amazon. Amazon talks about a split, and it's up 136 at 29.21. 
it's making lower lows and lower highs. That's a problem put together with the financials that I think are under pressure. This is a tough market, believe me. I'll be back in a moment. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. So in this little final section we've got before I actually do Larry's program coming up, uh, we're going to be looking at, let me just do this. Look, in the financial sector, I was just talking about that, the Blackstone Group, which is financial sector mergers and acquisitions, has held really well. It is a dreaded H in the uh, potential in the weekly chart. But look at that. That is so different to uh, BlackRock also in the financial area. BlackRock um, trading down from a high that was made up in the uh, nine say 60s uh, trading it right now at 688 completely different pattern so even in financials you can get very differing uh, different chart formations so that's what i want you to mention the other thing i want you to do is iyt the iyt is the transportation index holding even now holding quite well it's down 17 cents at 252 but if you look at dsx which is in the shipping area there's a diana shipping it's near its recent highs so the whole area of shipping and products being shipped is still very important in context therefore if you're looking at say a csx which is the uh, rails uh, pulling back today and certainly after three days ago, four days ago, being hitting about the 3860 area, trading now 33, um, down, what is it, 12% 12, 12 or really 13. This is saying 
that although uh, CSX is close to its highs, it's being impacted. Uh, everything's being impacted. So what I am saying is just be really careful out there. So we've just very selectively gone long. So we had long, but more trades than anything else. Most importantly, we're going to be talking about when I get back for Larry's show. We'll talk. So many people have asked us, asked me, where would you, if you've gotten out of gold, or at least have got out of quite a bit, and you want to get back in the GLD, where would you uh, re-enter? So I'll talk about a bunch of things like that. I know what he can do, Larry's show. Only Larry can do it as well as he does, of course. I will do my best. We'll be back in a moment for the uh, Trade What You See, Larry Presidento's show. I'm wrapping up. Tiger Commission's out. Check out the newsletter. 